Okay, thank you very much for the introduction, and thank you for the organizer uh, for giving us opportunity to present our project. Uh, my name is Tomu Kitajima from uh, Faculty of Social Sciences, Kyoto University in Tokyo. Uh, on behalf of the uh, team members, I will, I will uh, share with you the experiences from the project that aimed at improving access to HIV and syphilis testing among international migrants in Tokyo. Okay, uh, so in Japan, the number of international migrants reached nearly 3 million, about 2.5% of total population in 2022. Uh, however, 16% of newly diagnosed HIV cases annually in Japan are international migrants, and nearly 30% of, of them were not aware of their HIV status until the, the onset of AIDS symptoms. So improving access to HIV testing among international migrants uh, is very important. In Japan, uh, public uh, health centers provide free and anonymous HIV, syphilis, and other STD test tests, but the services are mainly offered in Japanese, which creates a significant barrier for international migrants. Moreover, services were significantly decreased due to the COVID-19 pandemic last two years, which further limited the chance of taking HIV tests. So uh, to address this issue, uh, we implemented a free and anonymous multilingual HIV testing project in Tokyo metropolitan area. The project aimed to explore strategies to enhance access to HIV and syphilis testing among, among international migrants in, in Japan. Okay, I'm going to uh, explain uh, briefly how we conducted multilingual HIV and syphilis testing events. Uh, first, we um, have to negotiate with uh, uh, health facilities uh, to, to, to see whether they can help us to organize the event. And we, after we find the uh, clinics, then we uh, publicized the uh, events through face, our Facebook, dating apps, uh, uh, migrant communities and NGOs in English, Chinese, uh, Vietnamese and Nepali. And those advertisements uh, guided international migrants to websites for reservations. We had accepted up to 20 people for each event. And on the website, the participants were asked to answer a short survey. And after that, the website issued a reservation number. And the website also provides them with in, uh, information about HIV testing. And we conducted the, uh, the, the HIV testing event at the clinic or public health center in Tokyo. At the venue, uh, pa uh, participants register uh, with their, their reservation number and the nurse draw the blood from the participants, and we used uh, these, these uh, test kits to examine HIV and syphilis. Uh, we also prepared genus HIV in case we need to do a confirmatory test. While waiting for the results, uh, they uh, could consult with a social worker about their daily life or PrEP, and the medical doctor notifies the result of the participants. Online medical interpreters are available if participants have difficulty communicating with the social worker or medical doctor. This project was funded by a Health and Labor Science Research Grant, and we received approval from the Ethics Committee at Graduate School of International Cooperation Studies, Kyoto University. Okay, and from November 2021 to March uh, 2022, we, um, we, with the help of three clinics, we, uh, we were able to conduct eight events in Tokyo. Uh, all events were taking place in afternoon or evening of the weekends. In total, 109 people made reservations and 71 took the tests. I will show you um, some of the characteristics of the participants. And 90% were male and 86% were between 20 and 39 years old and they came from 18 different countries. The Filipino topped the list, followed by Chinese, and 83% of the participants stayed in Japan for more than two years. And 45% found out about events through dating apps, and 24% from friends, and 16% from our Facebook page, and 57% uh, took the test because they wanted to know their status, and 22% also said they took the test regularly. And 42% took HIV test for the first time, and among those who took the test, who took the HIV test for second time or more, 30% had not test, had not tested for HIV for over 12 months. 
We did not find any new HIV case throughout the events. Uh, we found two new syphilis cases and referred them to medical facilities. Nearly half of the participants received PrEP consultations. Okay, so for the conclusion, <coughs> Uh, our multilingual HIV and syphilis testing project demonstrated the feasibility of expanding uh, testing, sub testing services among international migrants in Japan, at least in Tokyo, and over 40% of participants tested for HIV for the first time. And based on our experiences, I want to mention three challenges that we are facing. The first one is, uh, on average, we, uh, on average, about 35% of, of, of the people who made the reservation did not show up. So we need to think about how to uh, reduce this proportion. And um, we expected uh, more participants from Vietnam and Nepal as they continue, uh, as they constitute a large pro uh, part of international migrants in, in Japan. Uh, but we, we had less participants from, from that group. So we continue to investigate uh, effective ways to reach international migrants who have the need for HIV tests but may not be reached. And to do that, we need to involve international migrant communities more when we organize the event and expand this model to other areas in Japan. And uh, we also need to investigate how to make testing services more easily accessible in non-healthcare, non-health facility settings. Okay, and that is, that's it. Thank you very much for your attention and uh